All right, so uh, so let's shoot another video here. So uh, a couple of weeks ago was uh, was Easter, of course, and the day after Easter, uh, peeps go on sale. So I picked up a couple of a um, couple of packs of peeps at uh, at the Target, and let's uh, see how well they do in a vacuum chamber. Uh, so a common experiment is to put peeps in a microwave, which I've never actually done before. Uh, maybe we'll do that later. Uh, but this is a similar idea. We're going to take these peeps that are marshmallows that, of course, have little air bubbles all throughout. And we're going to pull all the air from around them with, a, um, with my little vacuum pump here. Um, so I picked this up a while ago at a flea market, and it's been an awful lot of fun. Uh, supposedly, this pulls down to 5 microns, which is 5 micrometers of mercury. Uh, at room temperature, water boils at about 25 millimeters of mercury. Yeah, so about one inch of mercury. So we're going to get down, we're going to get pressures down to where water will boil at room temperature, including the water inside the peeps here. We'll keep rough track of the pressure with our little pressure gauge here. Uh, so ideally, I'd have a, um, a bigger gauge that wasn't attached to a pump here, but I think this will get the job done. And we're going to plumb all of this together with vacuum hose. And this is from the auto parts store. So uh, any high vacuum nerds uh, that are watching right now will be horrified at this because at low vacuums, this stuff will outgas basically forever. Uh, but I'm using it because you know, it's designed to operate under reasonable vacuum under the hood of a car. So it does a, a pretty good job at room temperature and, uh, and gets uh, the job done for us here. All right, so without any further delay, let's uh, fire this thing up. Okay, here we are. We have our peeps lined up in a row. Uh, I put it on a little platform to raise them up a little bit so we can see better. So let's seal these guys in and adjust our vacuum hoses. Flip the switch, see what happens. That's Okay, so I think that's about as good as it's going to get here. You know, once again, the marshmallow, the walls of the little bubbles are flexible, but not too terribly flexible. So let's let the air back in and see what happens. And here are our collapsed peeps. Okay, so let's... Uh, you know, that was, that was pretty interesting, but uh, not uh, too climactic there. Um, so you know what doesn't have a problem with stretching out an awful lot is marshmallow fluff. So let's take this experiment to the next level. So we'll take our peeps out here, and if you've never had a fluffer nutter, I'm going to highly recommend that you look it up and try one. So let's get some fluff in here. Some more fluff. Oh man, look at that mess. Okay, you know what? If we're gonna make a mess out of my vacuum chamber, let's not hold back. Let's give these peeps a nice little green lawn to play on. Get some food coloring in here. Oh man, look at that. That is going to be a nightmare to clean up, but totally worth it. So here's a nice green lawn for our peeps. And let's get some fresh peeps in here. Peep one, peep two, peep three. Some of these icy blue peeps. One. Two, three, right. 
Check that out. We've got our peeps on the lawn. Let's pop the chamber back on. Turn the valve to the correct position. And let's let her rip. So far. So now we're about to hit the point where the water is about to start to boil. Look at that. It's still expanding. Oh, look at that beep. Oh man, and the bubbles were just starting to pop there. And for a dramatic effect, let's let the air back in. Whoa! Oh man. God. What a disgusting mess. Oh, oh. All right, cleanup time. Totally worth it. All righty. We did a pretty good job cleaning up the vacuum chamber here. And uh, when I was describing the what's going on with the marshmallow fluff, I mentioned that the moisture in the fluff is boiling. Uh, what exactly does that mean? How can we boil water at room temperature? Well, let's, uh, let's do an experiment. And uh, actually, this is going to probably lead into some future videos on the subject here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a glass of ice water and put it in the vacuum chamber and draw down the pressure and see what happens. So um, I got rid of, or I took off this other pressure sensor here because uh, this guy only reads down to about um, minus 30 inches of mercury. Uh, and we're, we need to operate around, f uh, around four millimeters of mercury. So a fraction of an inch of mercury before the water will start to boil or before ice water will start to boil. So this gauge is no good. What are we going to use instead to get a quantitative measurement? And the answer is this little guy. So this is an MKS Baratron vacuum gauge. It has a full scale of 10 Tor. Uh, so you power it with plus minus 15 volts DC. And it gives you an output of 0 to 10 volts for 0 to 10 millimeters of mercury. And uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. So we're going to turn the valve off. And uh, one thing to note here is that the output is fully railed. And what I mean by that is we're powering the sensor with 15 volts and the output is at 13.73. So that means inside this thing, there's an op amp that's pulling just as hard as it can up to the positive rail. Can't quite get there. Uh, doesn't matter. It's above the 10 volt full scale. So let's throw the switch and see how long it takes us to get down to 10 millimeters of mercury and how long it takes for the water to start boiling. actually got some action going on at the top of the glass here. Got some bubbles forming there, but that's not water vapor. That is uh, little gas bubbles escaping from the ice cubes and from the water itself. Okay, notice we're still railed out at 13.7 volts. Okay, here we go. Final drawdown. So we're at 11 volts. Still above full scale, 10. Okay. 
okay, about five millimeters of mercury. I think we can pretty much call that boiling at this point. Okay, and I just looked up the, uh, the triple point of water is 4.6 torr and about 0.01 degrees centigrade. And here we are sitting at about 4.6 torr according to this sensor here. So here it is, the triple point of water boiling in our little vacuum chamber. All right. Okay, I think that'll just about wrap it up. And uh, I think next time we'll dig into the circuitry of these pressure sensors because they really are, uh, this is what's called inaccessible technology. The, uh, the circuitry does not look too terribly complicated, but boy, this welded stainless steel mechanism is uh, a sight to behold. Okay, well, thanks for watching and uh, hope you had fun with the peeps and we'll see you next time.